Hello and welcome to my journey of turning this small boring bathroom into an inviting elevated space. My name's Charlotte, I live in a 250 square foot home and I am bored with this bathroom. I moved in about six months ago, designed this whole thing with my boyfriend and honestly, the bathroom is a little bit lackluster. We only have one bathroom and I really want anybody who steps foot into it to feel inspired, to feel like they're not in a tiny bathroom but to feel like the world is full of endless possibilities. Is that even possible? We're gonna find out. So I took this journey over to TikTok and I asked our viewers, what should I do to elevate this space? And they've had some seriously incredible ideas. I'm so excited to elevate this space and take you along on this journey because I think it's just the subtle differences that make or break a space. So let's put some character in this bathroom. So this is the bathroom. It's quite cute and small and charming, but it's just boring. I've got this entire blank wall and I cannot wait to show you what I'm gonna do with it. I know there's so much potential for the little touches. So one of the responses that I got was that this mirror is too small for the space, which after they pointed that out, I totally agree. So I'm gonna replace this circle mirror with a vintage mirror that I had laying around from one of my homes a while ago. I think this teal border is gonna really accent my walls. Well, that looks 10 times better already. Before we get into what I ordered, I wanna do two quick updates. The first is put up a new shower curtain. And the second is do an accent wall with wallpaper. This wallpaper is botanical, it's beautiful, and it really brings character to my one huge wall that I've got nothing on right now. So let's get those two things done with and then the little touches. Okay, here's the wallpaper reveal. So it's this beautiful botanical pattern all the way from the floor up to the ceiling. I think this wallpaper gives some serious character to this bathroom so far and I cannot wait to expand from here. Okay, now it's time for the little touches. So this is my new bathroom toilet tray. This is by Naomu and it is the most beautiful handmade tray. It is crafted with perfection. One of my favorite parts about ordering all of these things from small businesses is the love and attention that went into them. I just know this is gonna last me for years. I'm gonna put it on the top of my toilet. Oh my gosh, that looks so great. <gasps> I love it. The other thing I got is this beautiful print. Let me show you. Look at this. These are dandelions and I think it's gonna make the bathroom just feel so mystical. I think I know where to put this. If I put it in here, it has this amazing depth. I think I love this. Absolutely am doing that. There we go. I love that. It kind of reminds me of like looking out a window into a meadow. Okay, these next two items are handmade again. I'm obsessed with them and they're gonna bring such use into my bathroom. But I really need to think about where I'm gonna put them. So the first is this handmade plant shelf. The cool thing about this is that you hang it on the wall. I could even use this for a candle. It doesn't have to be a plant, but I think it's gonna be a plant. So my plan is to put this on the same wall as the wallpaper. That wall has so much vertical space and I'm not using it right now. And similar to the plant shelf, I've got these towel hangers that are so cool. You screw that into the wall and they just look so cool. You just hang your towels right there or clothes. I want my guests to feel comfortable if they're gonna shower just to like hang their clothes on a cool hook. I'm just obsessed. So I got three of these. Okay, here's the plan. This is gonna go right up there. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole and I'm gonna put the anchor in and I'm gonna put the screw in and then this should sit on top of the screw with ease. So the shelf is up, we've got a plant and eventually that plant is gonna grow all the way down and join the wallpaper. I'm pretty sure I know where I want these now. So I'm going to put them staggered. These aren't meant for bath towels, but smaller items. We're gonna drill a little pilot hole and then we're just gonna screw in. Wow. That looks awesome. Nice. Then we'll do the third one. I decided to put the final hook over here. That way if anybody wants to hang like a hand towel or a necklace. The next small detail is one of my favorites from the polished jar. This is our hand wash. It's sleek, it's simple, it's clean, it's elegant. I think there's something so inviting about having hand wash in a glass jar like this. I'm also really excited about this toothbrush holder. Beautiful, handmade, two separate little places for the toothbrushes so they don't knock into each other. I think this is really gonna elevate my space. 
Okay, you ready for one of my favorite pieces? Ceramic lidded jar. So my idea behind this is to have me or guests put our jewelry in there while we are showering or washing our faces. And is this bathroom really complete without a skinny ceramic vase? Handmade, thinking about putting this right here with a little flower in it. The coloring is so beautiful together. I've been using like old hand towels and having two beautiful ones, really great quality. Look at that like waffle texture. I think will really elevate the bathroom. Oh, I feel like I'm in a hotel. This is really coming together. It's not an inviting bathroom without a candle. And this smells incredible. This scent is my new scent. This is the inviting elevated bathroom scent. Let's light it. I seriously feel like I'm walking into a high-end hotel. These little finishes really elevate the space and make it so incredibly inviting. I can't believe this is my bathroom. My boyfriend comes home really soon. I cannot wait to show him because this feels luxurious. I know my showers are gonna bring sparks of inspiration and I, oh, I'm thrilled. The handmade touches in this place give it this really soft, warm feeling. It's like you're surrounded by your most creative friends. I'm overjoyed. Let us know down in the comments what was your favorite part, if you have any questions or what you would have done differently. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. My heart is full, I am inspired, and I am so grateful for all of the Etsy sellers that made this happen. Thanks so much for tuning in.